Hello everyone, Zane here and welcome to my new player's guide to crafting in Final Fantasy XIV. This is going to be level 1 to 80. 80 to 90 is in a separate video, which I'll make sure to link down below. So a couple of things to note before we start. Number one, get a level 60 job because you're going to be getting the Ishgar Restoration at level 20 to power level yourself to 80 and that's going to be in patch 3.3. So we'll get into that a little bit later. Second thing is make sure that you get second lieutenant in your grand company because at level 50 you're going to be getting the artisan set and that's going to cost you around 34,000 grand company seals to get the full set and the tool. The other thing is you're going to be getting the manual that gives you 150% boost to experience up to 500,000 and the effect is halved after level 50 and above. But this is just to get yourself to the first 20 levels. And it's going to cost you 2,300 Grand Company Seals, and you must get Sergeant Second Class in order to unlock that. As you can see right there, Sergeant First Class. So I already have one of those available, so we're all good to go. So in order to unlock your crafters, you must have completed the level 10 class quest on the job that you started with. In my case, it was my Dragoon. Then you are able to unlock any job in the game after that by going to their guild so we're going to unlock carpenter now carpenter leather worker are in gordania weaver goldsmith and alchemist are in Ulda. culinarian armorer and blacksmith will be in lemsa lomensa all right so talk to the guild receptionist hit yes talk to him again and then you'll start your first quest now the guild master will give you your tool and also give you your shards which is going to be used in crafting. Alright, so after that is done, simply equip your tool and then I'll switch you over to your job. Now the first thing you do is talk to the guild master for your first quest. And then you get your first piece of gear and materials to work with. Alright, so the first thing you do is pop your manual. These things will last you 18 hours. Now, you have three stats for craftery. Craftsmanship, which works for the progress. Control, which works for quality. And CP, meaning crafter points. Without CP, you cannot craft with most abilities. So make sure you make your, your gear set. And now he needs us to make one maple lumber. So we'll go to the crafter log, hit synthesis. Now the only thing that we have is basic synthesis. This ultimately does 100% efficiency, 100% success rate. And if you want to know how much you'll do, hit triangle for calculations if you're on controller and you can see our craftsmanship allows us to get at least six points for progress so hit uh, basic synthesis twice voila so we get level three is by making the first item let's pass this in Gonna skip all cutscenes and then you'll get your first piece of gear, which gives us plus 18 craftsmanship. Now we can equip it. So each piece of gear will have stats. So the higher you go, the more stats you'll get. It's very, very important that you keep up to date with your gear and your class quests. The reason is that the only ability in the game that you will get through the class quest is level 65. Everything else is just by leveling up. So make sure you're up to date with this at all times. So let's get rid of this crap off my hotbar. So the next ability will not appear until level 5. So what you're going to do is you're going to craft one of each item in your crafting log. The reason why is that you get experience points or bonus every single time you make an item for the very first time. So each piece of gear or materials will have a shard that you must use of different elements so make sure you have abundance of these at all times so we're going to make ourselves make maple clogs because this is our first piece of gear that we can 
actually make and use, and it gives us plus seven control. So we'll just hit basic synthesis twice, or three times in this case. Now we're level four. So go ahead and equip your feet. This will be very important when we get basic touch. So let's make another. All right, now we're level five. So with the manual up, it's pretty quick to level up. So basic touch, which has 18 CP cost, has increased quality, 100% efficiency and success rate. So now we can start getting high quality materials and gear. Now, high quality means that you get extra stats on gear. And if you use a high quality material on a piece of gear, you have starter quality to make getting high quality much easier. Now, every single time you use an ability, you lose durability. So you lose 10 each time. So looking at our progress now, it's nine, so we don't have to worry about doing two basic synthesis. So this one will do. So making things high quality gives you a giant boost in your experience. So it's very important to try to get high quality as much as possible. If it's not 100%, then it's going to be luck. Or in this case, a dice roll. So you can get 98% high quality rate and you can still not get 100% um, high quality. So the next class quest is gonna be level five, and then we'll get a chance to get a piece of gear, either the headpiece, leg piece, or the feet. And we also will get another tool, which is going to be our offhand. So he wants us to make three maple shields. Now, Every guild will have a material vendor. Each of them will have a different set of items. Or you can check the market area for one that has a bunch of other stuff. But each guild will have its own set of materials. So make sure you buy at least 10 of everything. Luckily for me, I already bought some of all the materials that I'm going to be needing. But we need six rivets for the shields, so I have to buy four more. That's why it's always important to get all the crafted jobs unlocked, so this way you guys can grab materials from each one. So by using high quality materials, you get starter quality, like I showed you before. So if you do not get progress 100% before the durability runs to zero, the item will break. Then there's a chance that you might get your materials back. So now we got Master's Mend. This restores 30 durability for 88 CP. So we're going to start doing progress first. So now we're one away. So now we're going to do two basic touches. Master's Mend gives us back up to 40. Now we continue making these high quality. Even though the quest does not require it, still make them high quality for the extra experience. And now we'll make one more. Always make sure to look at your CP to make sure you have enough to use Master's Bend. Now that we're level 8, we can now pass in this quest and get our first offhand tool. So this is what you basically do for all your crafter jobs. 
So now we're going to pick the leg piece, get more shards, and we also get our offhand tool. This is going to give us extra craftsmanship and control to make crafting a little bit easier. Now I got all the other pieces of gear from the other crafter jobs. So now I'm all decked out. So we have the feet at 9C, 9 control. Legs for 10 control, hands for 11, and body for 18. So when you make something high quality, as you can see, the stats go up. At first, you don't really need high quality gear, but it can help. So the next quest is not going to be until level 10. So back to the crafter log and start making one of each item. Now, the other thing that you can do, and I recommend because it's Hugh's experience, is do your grand company turn-ins. Now, the first item will always be the weakest, but when it resets every day, you will get another item and you'll get more experience. So we need to make maple clogs. Now, if you get a star on your item, that means you get double the points. And if it's high quality with the star, that's triple. So we're going to make a high quality maple clogs now that we have our basic touch. Making this a lot easier. All right, so let's head over to the grand company and turn this in. All right, so let's turn this in for the experience. So we're going to get 420 times two, which is 840. So now we get two new abilities, hasty touch and rapid synthesis. Now, both of them cost zero CP, but the success rate is 60 and 50% respectively. This one gives you 100% efficiency and this is 250% efficiency. Now you will get a trait later on for rapid that will increase your efficiency by 500%. These are absolutely useless and only should be used just in case you screw up your CP or you need a Hail Mary because you accidentally screwed up. But most of the time you can just ignore these. So this is gonna get us to level 10. And at level 10, I'll explain how to do leaf quests. All right, so let's head back to the guild master for our next class quest. And at level 10, you also get the ability to quick synthesis. Which basically gives you less experience for faster crafting. But you do not control your character. So high quality will come at random. So our next quest is 12 Ash Lumbers. Thankfully I already have those. So when you go to an item, you have quick synthesis. And you can choose, use high quality materials, and then pick how many you want to make. So I'm just going to use one for the example. and then end. So that's quick synthesis in a nutshell, basically. You only want to use that when you want to mass produce a bunch of materials. So let's patch in this quest, and then we'll get another piece of gear. So if you get a body piece, definitely go for it. But since I've already done this a couple times on other jobs, I already have all the gear. So if you have all the gear, or if you made it yourself, just grab the bronze pieces to get some gill. And we get a new main hand at level 11 or 10. So you want to equip it. And now we get the trait inner quiet. So what this does is gain a stack of inner quiet with every increase in quality up to a maximum of 10. Inner quiet effect grants a 10% bonus to efficiency of touch actions for each stack. This used to be an ability that you activate, but now they turn it into a trait. So when you do a touch ability, let's bring this menu down, which will show you all your buffs, or you can look at the top of your screen. Inner quiet goes up every single time you use the touch. 
So the higher that goes, the more quality you gain. All right, so now let's head over to the Adventurer's Guild and I'll explain the leave quests. All right, so here we are at the leave meet NPC in the Avengers Guild. This is where we unlock it to begin. So these are basically commissions that you guys can do. Now you have, of course, level ranges. You only can have up to three. Now each leave quest will have its own plate, which you can see right here. Triple turn-ins are going to be around level 15 to 20, I believe. So what you're going to do is pick the one that gives you the most experience. In my case, it's on the move. So I need to make a ragstone grinding wheel, which is a level 11. Check your calculations to see how much progress you're going to make. So it's 16. So let's work on that first. So two will get me just one away. Then we'll work on quality because getting high quality will give you double the experience when passing in leave quests. Master's Mend. And now we're level 12. Alright, so now we need to go find the receiver, who is going to be way over here. Once you get into Heaven's Word and Beyond, leave quests, receiver and giver will be right next to each other. So you're going to be going back and forth, back and forth a lot if you're going to do your leave quests. But this is only until level 20. So we're getting 7,880 times 2. Plus you get double gill. So now level 13. Now, this is where you guys are going to get conditions. Observe does nothing for one step for 7 CP. Tricks is a trade, restores 20 CP, but the condition must be good or excellent. So Observe has a combo move, which is going to come later on. And Tricks is a trade is only good to use if you don't need good or excellent condition for increasing your quality. Or if your item is going to break, use Tricks is a trade to use the condition instead of just letting it go to the wayside. When excellent is used, you'll get a poor condition, which is going to cut your touch ability by half. So trying to avoid using a touch ability on poor by using observe if you like, or using a progress ability. So I'm going to do this until I hit level 15. Now that we hit level 15, we get waste not. It has a CP cost of 56 and reduces the loss of durability by half for four turns. So instead of 10 durability, you lose five. Veneration of level 15 increases efficiency of synthesis actions by 50% for the next four steps. So basic synthesis will be buffed with veneration. The other thing that I forgot to mention is that food, any food will give you plus three experience boost but you also want to look for crafter food. This will give you CP, craftsmanship, or control. So in my case, Fermenti will give us 10 extra CP and a three point boost. But because the manual does more than the food, it really isn't needed. But if you want three extra experience, go right ahead. So the next quest, we must talk to the NPC over here. So now we need to make a feathered harpoon and a ash shadow bow. So the harpoon is right here. So I need a crow feather, solid femur, and animal glue. So let's check the NPC here, see if they have one. Crow feather, femur, animal glue. All right, so. As you can see here, we have 19 for our basic synthesis with veneration up. We go up to 29 and a rapid goes up to 71. So we just need to do one for progress. Otherwise we'll complete the item. Now we can start working on quality. 
even though the quest did not require it, again, gives you more experience. So always try to make it high quality. And that's done for that. So now we need to make an ash short bow. Thankful I have the materials. So again, veneration. We got a good here, so what we're gonna do is use that on basic touch. Which is gonna give us 97. And now we can go ahead and do the progress. And back to touch. And now we got level 16. Now I'm going to deliver these to the NPC and then we'll finish the quest. All right, so now those are the way. Let's pass in this quest to get a new piece of gear. And we also get another offhand. So again, make sure to take a body piece over anything else because it gives you double stats. Because I already have the gear, I don't have to worry about taking that. So now we need to get to level 20 in order to do the Ishgar restoration, which is going to be going from 20 all the way up to 80. Now around level 15, you guys are going to start getting some accessories. The Fang Earrings at level 15 will give you 19 CP for high quality, 17 for normal. The Choker will give you 17 for high quality, 15 for normal. That's at level 9. And at level 16, you get the Bracelet, 17 CP for normal and 20 CP for high quality. The Rings will come out level 18. So Goldsmith is going to be making your accessories in Arum Reborn, and then in the later expansions, other jobs will be able to make accessories as well. As for the left side, just take what you get from the class quest for now, and we'll worry about gear once we get to the level 20. All right, so what we're gonna do next to get to level 20 is continue doing the leave quests to get myself the extra experience to make this a little bit faster, and then we'll do the level 20 class quest, which will deal in materia, and I'll show you guys what to do with that. So one thing I want to bring to your attention is the challenge log. This is unlocked right before you do Sastasha Dungeon. And it's going to be called Rising to the Challenge and Limbs of the Limits of the Adventures Guild. Right to the left of the front desk, you'll see the NPC with that quest. So under Crafting and Gathering, you have Crafting Up the Storm and Crafting Up a Storm High Quality. This is craft 30 items to get experience, which will raise as you level up. The guild will stay the same for a thousand and craft 20 high quality materials or items for again increased reward of experience and 2000 gil and make sure you do it on the job that you want the experience to go to so let's make this item here And there you go. Challenge has been complete. So now you have to wait until next week for that to come back around. So I just want to bring that to your attention to make sure that you do your challenge log every single week. All right, so we just hit level 20. So at level 18, we get standard touch. This is the first combo ability off of basic touch. By itself, it costs 32 CP and has an efficiency of 125 with a 100% success rate. If comboed off of basic touch, it reduces down to 18 CP. Next is Practice Makes Perfect. This allows you to do trial synthesis. It allows you to craft an item but not use any materials or lose any materials if you fail. So it's basically practice. So level 20, we're gonna start dealing with materia. Now, for a carpenter, I need to make an iron lance. Now, unfortunately, I do not have the materials. 
And at this point, some vendors in the guilds will not have these materials. If you look at the material menu there, it says shop selling price. This means that an NPC out there or a vendor will sell these probably cheaper than the market board. But check the market board just in case to see if these items are cheaper than at a vendor. In this case, I think you're going to find these in the housing districts. So what we're going to do is actually head over to the housing district since I am in my own mains free company. I can show you guys where to find those NPCs. The ones in the city states will not most likely not have these materials. So the best place to go is to the residential area. So here we are in the residential section. I actually have a video on how to unlock all three. So you're going to find the shop in the lavender beds. Look for the caretaker icon. So talk to the material supplier. And if you have a free company house, personal house or apartment, you guys can actually get NPCs to put inside. But you need to be second lieutenant in order to get the ability to get property. So as you can see here, we can get iron ingots for 68 gil and the L lumber for 78. So now we can make an iron lance once I have two iron ingots. Now let's try this out. So the first thing we're going to do is look at our progress. So when you have 22, so let's do a veneration. Now it's 33. And we got a good, so what we're actually going to do is basic touch, so we don't waste that good. And then go ahead and do standard, don't want to waste that either. And do basic synthesis. So 33 plus 33 is 66, so we can do one more. Continue with basic and standard. Master's mend. Back to basic and standard and finish all right so now we got that made now we need to go over to Mudamix in the bonfire in central thanalan so here we are in central thanalan at the bonfire now the quests you can be doing here are called forging the spirit for extracting material waking the spirit for melding and marvelously mutable materia for passing in five pieces of unwanted materia for a new one that you did not pass in. So the Mokote will take care of the materia melding. The Rogadin over here will take care of extraction. And the Mutamix will take care of the combining of the materia. At level 25, you'll get advanced melding. And what melding is, when a piece of gear at level 15 or higher, you get materia slots. These are guaranteed slots, so the material go in at 100%. Forbidden or advanced melding is going to go into the gear without material slots. So we have a lower uh, percentage chance of that going inside. It gets worse the higher you go and the higher material that you're trying to put in. So the lowest, I think, was like 5% success rate, which can make you go through a lot of material when it comes to crafting endgame. But this is where you guys go to unlock material. Now... When a piece of gear is 100% spirit bonded, which you can see under conditions, you see the spirit bond rate, as you use the gear, your aether will cause you to spirit bond that gear. When it hits 100%, you can extract materia. The best way to know if, a, if an item is ready, check the grid right here. If this is green, it means it's not ready. If it's white, it means it's ready. So we're going to extract, not retrieve. Retrieve takes the materia out of the gear. So don't get confused. Now, crafter gear will give you crafting materia, gatherer gear, gathering materia, battle gear, battle materia. The strength will depend on the gear itself. So I'm getting grade one for level 15. So you either can get control, craftsmanship, or CP. So now we're gonna go to your item that you just made and meld. If you do not want to unlock melding, I don't know why you wouldn't, there are NPCs in the city states that'll do it for you for a little bit of guild. So we're going to use a random piece of material here. And this will be for every level 20 class quest except culinarians since you can't meld food. 
So let's go back to Redania and pass this quest in. And after this, we're going to head over to Ishgard. Now that we're back at the guild, let's get level 20 done. And you get a piece of gear. So pick whatever you do not have. In my case, I'm going to pick the elegant pieces. So now we get great strides at level 21. So what Great Strides does increases the efficiency of the next touch action by 100% and if effect lasts 3 steps and it costs 32 CP. This is going to be vital when it comes to doing your level 50 rotation. So these are the abilities that you're going to be using going into the Ishgard Restoration. And now we're going to equip our gear that we just got. So at level 21 you're looking at the Initiate's Headgear, Cotton Curta, the cotton half gloves and the breeches of crafting. I recommend crafting is high quality to give you a little bit of an edge. The feet, the ash patterns. Make sure to use your high quality version if you made one. In my case, I did. This is going to give you a little bit of an edge going into the Ishgard restoration. The tools is level 19 and the offhand is level 16. The accessories, bang earrings still. The brass choker, the wristlets, and the rings of 18. I'm going to switch over to my goldsmith and I'm going to show you guys a rotation that you guys can use to craft these. So now that we have everything that we need, first off look at your progress. So it's 27, with veneration it's 40. So you're only going to do that once. Because 2 will give you too much. Next you're going to do basic and standard touch. using any goods or excellence along the way, even though you don't really need them. Do that until you get 10 durability. If you do get a good right here, just take the CP. Ultimately, you don't really need it. Masters Mend. And then go ahead and do your basic until you're finished. So to make your accessories, just use that rotation and you're good to go. Also, you can use that for the, the gear itself if you want to make this all high quality yourself. Okay, so that is going to be the rotation you guys to use to get started making your stuff high quality to go into the Ishka restoration. Now that that's out of the way, you're going to ignore all class quests for now. You're going to come back and do those later. And so now we're going to head over to Ishgard and I'm going to show you guys how to unlock the Ishgard restoration. So here in Ishgard, right across from the main Aetherite, the pillar or the wall behind me will have a flyer. You must complete the main story of Heaven's Ward, Litany of Peace. Once this is complete and you have the quest promises kept, the flyer, which would be behind me, will be there to unlock the quest towards the firmament. You must be level 60. That's why I said to be level 60 before starting your crafting journey. After that quest is done, you'll have access to the firmament due to the main aetherite. Once inside, talk to Ogbert. Then come over here and talk to Potkin. Talk to Lisbeth. Talk to the script exchange NPC. Come over here and talk to the Diadem Commander. Talk to uh, NPC over here. Then you'll talk to this NPC, which will explain the ranking system. If you get 500,000 points of all crafters and gatherers, you will get the Pterodon or Pterodactyl mount. Talk to Ogbert yet again, and then you'll come back to Potkin to talk to him to unlock the recipes. Now, you only have one item to make right now until you hit level 40, and then when you get closer to level 60, you'll get the next item. Now, you see the little stamp icon next to the item. When you make this item, you'll get a stamp on your Koopo stamps to the bottom right. Make five of these to get a ticket, and you guys can win a reward at random. So, at the bottom here, we have collectibilities. Now, collectibles are different from high quality because you have different thresholds, which we'll get into a little bit later. So at the lowest collectability of between 50 and 79, 
you would get 26,696 experience, 80, 204, 47,420, and then 105, which is the highest threshold, you get 67,771, and those will not change. So let's switch back to my carpenter. Make sure everything is equipped. Go into the crafting log. If you're on controller, hit triangle once, side quests, down to restoration. So you're going to be making the level 20 recipe. So you're going to need your shards, and then you're going to need approved materials. You go into the diadem, gather these materials. You need at least five to get them approved. That's where you talk to the NPC next to the commander. And then you're going to get a basic material in order to craft these. So it takes five of the approved items to make one item. So if you have any food, which I do not have at the moment, try to use the fermenti for the extra 10 CP. It will help you a lot. Normal quality Bula base. It works just the same. So like I said, quality, you have three different thresholds. 50, 80, and 105. Right now we're too weak to do anything above the lowest. So what you're going to do is basically the same rotation I showed you guys on how to do the gear. First, let's look at the progress. So we'll do that once. We got a good here, so we're going to use that for basic touch. Standard. Got another good, so basic and standard again. Master's Mend. Basic and standard touch again. So because those goods got us so close to the mid, we're going to do one more. And now we're going to use Veneration. And then we're going to complete the craft. So just like high quality, you want to raise your quality as high as you can to get extra experience. And then you do is pass this in. So because I got the mid, I was able to hit 47,420 experience. So now we're going to continue making these. So again, basic and standard touch. Since you know the progress can be done with two steps. So we'll save that for last. So here we're just going to do Master's Mend because we don't want to waste the combo. Got a good, which is awesome. So let's make a couple more. So basically what you're going to be doing is this rotation over and over and over again. So there I wasn't paying attention so I wasted a standard touch. We just almost got there unfortunately we can't go any higher than that because we need the two turns for basic synthesis. All right, so I'm going to do this a couple more times and then we'll pass everything in. And then this should give us to level 26, 27. All right, so I've made a couple of items and it just dawned on me that we can actually add in great strides. So do basic and standard touch until you have four stacks of it are quiet. Use great strides and then do standard touch. Look at that big jump in our quality. Then matches mend. Then do basic and standard. Just like that. And we'll constantly hit the second threshold. How I didn't see that, I don't know. But yeah, use that instead of what I just showed you earlier. 
So now we can pass all these in and we'll watch the experience fly because we're getting 47,420. So round level 28 is where you need to do two turn ins instead of one. All right, so now we get the most important skill and that is innovation. This is the opposite of veneration, increases touch actions by 50% for 18 CP for four steps. So now when you do basic and standard, you're gonna use innovation first. So just like this. Ooh, we got an excellent. Well, that's definitely going to help. Got it good. So we can just go ahead and get max rank right there. Almost, but it doesn't really matter. You don't really need full. As long as we pass the threshold. So it's not going to give you that much more, but it gives you more experience. Alright, so that's level 31 now. So now we get the trait at level 31 called Basic Synthesis Mastery increases our efficiency to 20% more. So that's 120%, making getting your progress to maximum a lot easier. So at level 31, you guys are going to start getting your Velveteen set. This is the beret, the gown, the short gloves, the bottoms, and the gaiters. So if I switch over to my Weaver. Let me show you guys that in practice. So, innovation. Basic. Standard. Basic. Standard. And then you do one more basic. Master's Mend if you're using lesser gear. Veneration. And then basic synthesis twice. So it's basically the same rotation to make this whole set here. Once you have this, you're good to go until you hit level 50. Now for the main and offhand tool, let's see if I have in here, you want to pick up the level 32 main hand tool. And as for the offhand, you want the apprentice file. You usually get these or the apprentice stuff off the market board if you like. I don't think you can craft these from my knowledge because there's no high quality version. So that comes from the class quest itself. So if you want to do your class quest to get the offhand yourself, you can. But that's what I recommend at level 30 and 31. And I'll take you all the way up to uh, 50. So let's go back to Carpenter. Equip all that stuff. Now let's do this with the new gear. We got a good here, so we're just going to take the CP for now. Great strides. Standard touch. Nice big jump. Master's Mend. Innovation. Basic. Gives you to what you need to be. And now you can do Veneration. And two basics will complete. And something's been spirit bonded. All right, so that is going to be the updated gear with the rotation. And continue doing this until you hit level 50. It's just that simple. Now, this is going to give you 67,000. Now, at this point, as you can see, it's only 74,000. So you're going to have to do two per turn in in order to get the next levels. 
So if you run out of materials, just check the market board. I know the switches for Carpenter are pretty cheap on my, on my server, but if your server is too expensive, server hop and to find the best deal or get your gatherers and go into the diadem yourself. But that is going to be for a separate video on how to level up your gatherers. So continue doing this and I'll see you guys at level 50 and I'll show you guys what to do. All right guys, so we're level 40 and I want to make a correction. You're gonna do this recipe up until level 40. And then from 40 to 50, you're gonna to go to the next item. So this is gonna give you a lot more experience. This means less crafting involved. So you're gonna to have to upgrade your main and offhand tool to make that a little bit easier. So we're gonna show you guys a level 40 rotation. Do a trial. Make sure that your food is back up. So I had to reapply Bula Base. So innovation, basic and standard touch four times. If you get a good there, just take the CP. Innovation and then do that again. Master's Mend. One more basic. Generation and then last three. And that's how you make your offhand and your main hand. And now we just pop those on. So now I have 39 main and 31 offhand. So we're looking at 201 craftsmanship and 190 control with 284 CP thanks to the food. So now let's go to the next item. So innovation, basic and standard, just like before. Any goods will help, but it's not necessary. So great strides, standard. Get a good there, take the CP. Master's Mend. Then you're going to check your progress. That's 50. With Veneration, that's 75. So double make sure you double check with that. And let's do basic touch just to get over the threshold. All right, so it takes two basic touches or basic synthesis. So you guys can add in one more basic touch if you like to get the extra experience from crafting. But since you hit that threshold, you don't get any more than that. But you still do it for the extra experience from crafting itself. Nice, another good. Definitely helps. So because you only, only need two, you can actually go ahead and add in Hasty Touch. It's not gonna hurt. All right, so now that we got the second threshold, you guys can pass this in. And now this one is going to be removed for the stamp and this one will get the stamp instead. So 177,985. So level 42, we have 171,000 for the next level. Level 43, it's now up to 179,000. And at level 44, it's 187. So the other thing that I forgot to mention is when you get five stamps, you guys can get a Kubo ticket. So you get a random loot table. If you choose one of these here, you have 8% chance of getting the max reward, nine for the second, 15 for the third, 23 for the fourth, and 45% for the consolation prize. If you choose the left one, you'll get one of the ones in the middle. The one at the top, it will have the rarest loot possible. Most of it is pretty garbage on the market board, but this is an achievement if you get enough of those. 
I got the third prize, so I got crafting materia. And this one was guaranteed to give me the apple emote. So make sure that you use these every single time. Oh, nice, a Koopa nut. So I got crafted delinations, which is going to be very helpful later on. Let's do one more. Oh, we got the griffin. So I got stupid prisms. So these here can either be all griffins, which really sucks. You guys can have all crowns, two crowns, all harps. It's going to be completely randomized. So the decision is up to you. So we're going to continue doing these recipes until I hit level 50. Also, I believe at 42, you get final appraisal. This stops you from completing progress, leaving you with one point remaining. This is ultimately, if your crush ship is too high, you can use this to stop yourself. It comes in very handy later on, so definitely take advantage of this when you can. And it only costs you one CP, and it lasts for five steps. But it does not cost you a step for using it, though, either. Okay, so I'll see you guys at level 50. All right, guys, so we got our last turn in. So one more correction. When you're doing the great strides before Master's Mend, do it on basic touch, not standard, because you're going to need a little bit more CP during the second part, which is another basic and standard touch, and then veneration and basic synthesis. So make sure to do it on basic and not standard touch. So now we can go ahead and pass this in. This should be my last level. All right, so now we are level 50. Now we get the Ender, Barakat's Blessing. Also, we get Race Knot 2, which is the buffed version of Race Knot 1. But this lasts for 8 turns, and it costs 98 CP. Now, Barakat's Blessing increases quality. Inner Quiet effect ends upon use. 100% plus 20% for each stack, up to 300%. The success rate is 100, and it requires at least one inner stack of inner quiet stack to work and across 24 cp so this innovation and great strides will be your finisher to get a chunk of quality to complete the item now why do we need second lieutenant in our grand company so we can get the artisan set like i showed you at the beginning of the video this right here is going to help you get the next few levels a lot quicker and we're also going to be hitting this threshold which is going to be the highest that we can possibly go. So I need to go back and get the main hand tool for the artisan. So that's going to cost me like around 7,000 Grand Company seals. And the best way to get that is do dungeon drops and then pass it in for expert deliveries. So I'm going to go and grab that main hand tool. We'll come back and I'll show you guys the same recipe with the upgraded gear. All right, so we're back with the main hand tool. Now this set here, and these accessories and offhand is going to be good up to level 60. And then the next set of gear is going to be the script set from Heaven's Ward. But we'll get to that point a little bit later. So now that we have this gear and now we got our finisher of Bar God's Blessing, it's going to get a little bit easier up in here. So we need six stacks of Inner Quiet. So we're going to do the same thing, except we're going to use Master's Mend. Ooh, we got a good. Uh, don't really need it, but we're going to, I want to show you guys about our gods without assistance. So we just did our buffs back up. And Baragats. And it'll give you a 1337. And now we just do two basic synthesis. Because 80 and 80 is 160. So basic, I mean, veneration is not needed. So let's do it again. So as long as we break that limit. We get the max reward.
there you go. That's how you guys do the level 40 with Barakat's Blessing Finisher. And now we can go ahead and pass these in. So we're looking at 421,000 points of experience to get to the next level. And the maximum gives you 359,521, which is not bad. So you're going to have to do these a couple of times to get yourself to uh, level 60. Because that one doesn't unlock until you hit level 60. So I will see you guys when I hit level 60. Also remember to keep your Bula base stocked up and ready to go. My server, they're pretty cheap normal quality. So if you want to hop onto my server and get them, you can. But this is going to be your food for quite some time. All right, now that we are final level 60, it is time to take a break and do something else. So the first thing we need to do is inscrutable tastes. This is going to unlock collectibles, but it's going to be for the script exchange. So it's going to be right here in Ishgard where the leap quests are, which are directly across from the Machinist Guild. So after that, we must go to Mordona. Talk to the Rogadin NPC here. And there you go. So the script exchange should be unlocked now. Next, we need to do Beloved the Builder. This is going to unlock specialists. This is going to be your soul stone for your crafters. It's going to give you extra craftsmanship, control, and CP. This is level 55. You only can have three at one time. And then we need to also accept the quest Go West Craftsman to unlock the script exchange in Idleshire. This is going to be where you're going to get your level 60 gear to take yourself from 60 to 70. So first thing we need to do is go back to Ishgard for the specialists. So here we are in Ishgard right outside of the Astrologian's Guild. Talk to Alderan for the first time and he'll give you your three soul stones. Talk to him again and this time you want to select your job to become a specialist. Level 55 and above is the requirement. So if I pick my goldsmith, I can't do it because I'm not level 55. Now, when you have all three soul stones, you can swap three times per week. And this resets every Tuesday. So each soul stone will give you 20 craftsmanship, 20 control, and 15 CP for that specific class. At level 55, you get the Careful Observation Specialist ability. This does nothing for one step, preserving the status of any action presently in effect. A crafter donation is used upon execution, can only be used three times per synthesis, and this does not increase the step count. Crafter donations are these things right here you get through white scripts, and this is used upon any specialist action. So if I can get a good condition to proc here, perfect timing, go to careful observation. It basically gets rid of the condition or basically it's kind of like you take a step, but you're not really doing anything. So this is what you would do to bait out a good condition, an excellent condition, or if you're doing the hardest recipes in the game, expert recipes, you're going to try to bait out a certain condition that you need for your certain situation. So ultimately, that's what that does. It's observe without the CP cost. So every single time you use those abilities, you use a crafted delination, and then of course you have to get white scripts to get more. So that is specialist in a nutshell. So right now you only have two abilities, and the other one's gonna be at level 86. Hopefully sometime in the future that will add more, but this is what we got to deal with. All right, so here we are in Idleshire. So for the Go West Craftsman, pass in the ticket to this lady right here to unlock the script exchange. So the script exchange here, you go under crafters, gear. Now level 60, there's going to be job specific gear. The only thing that is shared is going to be the accessories at the bottom, the augmented hand master. They're gonna give you extra craftsmanship, five each and the cp is going to be 47 
47, 47, 24. So you have two rings. You got two options. Either take each individual gear set for each class. It's going to cost you 225 for the main hand, 225 white scripts for the off hand, 75 for the head, 225 for the body, 75 for the hands, legs, and the feet. Or what you can do is use the other gear. It's not going to be at level 60, but it's going to be shared through all of the eight jobs. So those are your two options. Now, you're going to do the next quest, which is going to be arms wide open. This is going to unlock your first custom delivery client, Zloe Leopold. Now the custom delivery client system is you're going to be passing collectibles once per week to get white scripts. This is the fastest and easiest way to get them. Also, you'll get experience for your troubles as well. So you click on her, make a delivery. You have to be level 55 or above, and you need to be level 60 to get the scripts. So what you're going to do is you're going to make three Near Eastern Antiques because this is going to level her up to the second heart. And then you'll get three more items to pass in for her six per week. So you're going to get 140 white scripts for the highest collectability. Now, in order to get those items, you're going to come over here to the vendor in the same area. So you're going to pick purchase items number one. All right. Now this is going to be, I think a little bit easier because it's level 57. Uh, and also I forgot we need wind crystals and ice crystals. So in Heaven's Ward and beyond, you're going to start using crystals instead of shards. So I'm going to hop to my free company and grab me some crystals. All right. So I'm back with my crystals. Now, since we're level 60, we now have access to two new abilities, Precise Touch and Muscle Memory. Precise Touch, level 53, costs 18 CP, can only be used during Good and Excellent, and this gives you two stacks of Inner Quiet instead of just one. It has 150 efficiency and success rate. Muscle Memory increases progress by 300%, success rate 100, efficiency of your next synthesis action is increased by 100 percent and it only can be used on the first step and it lasts for five steps for the buff so now we're going to be utilizing muscle memory for this so first thing is muscle memory now our basic synthesis is going to be 129 so let's add in veneration now it's 162. So basic synthesis. Now the next one is going to be 97. So just to be extra cautious, final appraisal just in case. All right, so we're safe. So now we can start working on our quality. Now we need 139 collectability for the max turn in. So now we need to do great strides, Baragats, just barely made it over, and basic synthesis. All right, so we're gonna do this two more times. Now they got R3. Let's head back to Zloe. So this is gonna to go to my carpenter for the experience. Basically explains how everything works. So, 221,920. So, I almost got a full level. 
All right, then you get a cutscene, and now you're going to get three more items. And you also get materia and some food, which we can use the seafood stew that she gave us. So food is definitely going to be more important going forward. All right, so the next three items that we need to make are the Corthen souvenirs. And now this is going to give us 150 white scripts and 221,920 experience. So back to the vendor we go. If we check the recipes, this is going to be a level 58. To make this a little bit easier, you can actually make the prerequisite materials. You actually can make them high quality. And then you can make this ones a little bit easier. But since we are not doing that, we're going to go straight for the product. All right, so we need to make three of these. So we'll need six. I gotta make some inventory space soon. All right, so let's pop that food that she just gave us. Seafood stew. Extra CP and control is going to give us uh, 31 and we get a max of 50, 50 CP. So, also memory. Veneration. Basic synthesis. We got a good, so precise touch. Basic touch. Got a good, so go ahead and use tricks of the trade. Master's mend. Back to innovation. Another good, so another precise touch. All right, one basic. Great strides. Bowergats. And now we need to use veneration again. And now we need to do basic synth. Do that two more times. Ooh, we got a good, so precise. Then back to basic. Not precise, so we'll go ahead and do that. Master's Mend. Innovation. Basic and standard. Great strides. Firegots. Generation complete. All right, sixty one. Right. So she's all done for the week. So next week she will reset and I can do six more. All right. Now let's go see what we can get with these white scripts. So gear 58. So let's grab what we can. Now we're going to go to 60 and grab those accessories. All right, so now we are, I'm level 145. Our attributes without the food, so let's take that off, is 434 craftsmanship, 481 control, and 384 CP, and that is with the specialist on. Now if I took it off, I have 369 CP, 414 craftsmanship, and 461 control. Now I do need to upgrade my main and offhand tool. So for that, I have to go grab the level 60. So I need 225 for the main and offhand tool. So I'm going to have to do a couple of script turn ins in order to get that. So under the crafting log, under collectibles, you have 50 to 60. 
And then, because I'm already level 60, one, I get 61 to 70. So, what I'm probably going to have to do, I'd say the easiest one to do is the Rarified Dark Chestnut Rod. You need one Lumber and three Espelon. And luckily for you, this NPC here, under three, sells everything in Heaven's Ward. So, go ahead and buy that there. The reagents are at the bottom here, so I need three here. This can become pr quite pricey. Alright, so we're going to do muscle memory. Veneration. So it's 192. I don't know if that's going to complete, so we're just going to do final appraisal just in case. It did not, so best to be safe and sorry. We got a good, so precise touch. Innovation. Basic and standard touch. Got a good, so precise. Master's Mend. Back to Innovation. Another good, so precise. And we can just do bar guts since I'm already there. So that would give me 62,222. Then go to the collectible appraisal and pass it in. So we're gonna, gonna get 54 more scripts. Ultimately you want to do the highest recipe. So that's going to be 60. And this is basically still gonna give you the same 54. So I guess it doesn't really matter. All right, and that turn in gave me 396,756. So if you find this easier than Ishka Restoration going further, that's up to you. Master's Mend. Perfect. That was no goods or excellence. And my food was also off. So yeah, that's going to be for collectibles, really. And I got a level up. So if we did the level 60 items, as you can see, you're getting 452,162. And you're also getting your scripts. So I think we have enough for a tool. Yep. So we're going to take the offhand because that's going to be a bigger jump from what we have. Is that in my inventory? Now we're, wow, 662 craftsmanship, 592 control. That's insanity right there. All right, so I'm back and I just checked my market board and all these materials are selling a hell of a lot cheaper than that vendor. So definitely check your market board. All right, so now we can continue making these collectibles. So now that we got our new offhand tool, this is going to be much easier. Go back to muscle memory. So if we do that, I think we're gonna be safe. But I'm still going to apply final appraisal just in case. Yeah, we're, we're good. So you don't need veneration. So, innovation. Basic touch. Standard touch. Master's Mend. Back to innovation. And basic synthesis, and we're done. 
Just that simple. Now, at 62, we get Careful Synthesis. This costs 7 CP, increases progress with 150 efficiency. So now we can take off Basic Synthesis and start using Careful. So, Muscle Memory. Check the log, so it's 288. So final appraisal. Careful. Alright, just in case it finished. So it didn't finish, we have like four left over. So continue with innovation. I didn't see that excellent, that was a little too quick. That's alright. Since we're so close, just gonna do Byragots. Still didn't do it. That's all right. So yeah, go with the adapt set and just get your tools and your accessories and you should be good. Now if we pass these two in. Look at that experience. I honestly think you're getting more experience from collectibles outside of Ishgard. But of course that's the old recipes. So I think we have, nope, we don't have enough yet. We need a couple more. But you guys get the gist of it. All right, so I'm gonna continue doing this until I get my main hand tool. And then we will see what level we're at by the time I get that done. All right, so I just got my new saw. So now this is going to jack up my stats. For Craftsmanship, I have 838, and Control is 683, so that other thing went through the roof. Alright, so if you look at the collectibles, you see at level 60, you get 452,162 experience. At level 62, it's basically 10,000 more, so it's not that much difference between these two. So if you want to continue doing level 60, the white scripts and the experience is not much of a jump. And the reason why I say do this going to 80 is because you're going to need white scripts when you get to level 90 anyway to get the new Master Recipe books and of course the new script gear and all that to get yourself prepared for the new expansion. So from this point on, I honestly would say go with collectibles to make this a little bit easier for yourself and you're going to kill two birds with one stone. The manual that I still have up, even if you log off, this thing will still be available when you come back. So take full advantage of this. This is only for when you're crafting something, not for turning in collectibles. Now, if you want to do the next set of items in Ralgar's Reach, you guys can buy these materials as well. But check the marker board first to make sure that they're cheaper. This way you don't overpay. Make sure to check the shop selling price on the right side of the menu to know if you're paying more than you need to. All right. So I will see you guys when I get to the next level, which is going to be 65. And at this point, I would recommend going back and start knocking off your class quests in a Rumble Born and Heaven's Ward because you're going to need manipulation. All right. So I'll see you guys at level 65. So now that we are level 65, we must unlock Master Recipe books. So talk to Guiding Star here in Mordona, next to the market area. He will give you the quest tooling around. You must show him that you have a level 50 or higher main hand tool. After that, talk to Talon, and you'll unlock the Master Recipe books, which will unlock through the script exchange by default. This is where you'll get book number 3 and beyond. Heaven's Ward is the only expansion where you need a Master Recipe books for the class quest. So under Master Recipe, subcommand number one, you have number three books for 100 white scripts. I already got my carpenter because of the little check mark next to it. Go into the crafter log, hit triangle twice on controller, and number three will show you that you need a level 60 adamantite trident. This is going to be for all class quests. So make sure that you get those books as soon as possible. 
So for the Rumor Born level 50 quest, we must make a crab bow, which requires an oak composite bow. So either you can make one yourself or get it from a vendor for 7,776 gil. So you need a Elgoat horn, Megalo crab shell, and a red coral, which you can get off the market board. So because we're level 65 and this is level 50, all you need to do is an innovation, basic and standard touch until we are 100%, which is going to be four without the good. And do two basic synthesis. Now we need to meld it with a grade three materia. Most jobs will require this for level 50, except for culinarian. So we need a grade three savage aim, which is crit plus three. So now we need to go and pass this in. So we're back at the guild for our final quest. You will get your blue tool, but you don't really need it. And the gear you pass on it and get the gold pieces for 2,500 gil. And that will conclude your Arumba Born class quests. Now you must complete the final quest in Arumba Born before the dawn, before you guys can accept the next one. So the next one for Carpenter is called Lance of a Lifetime. All right, so now we need to go to Ishgard for the next class quest at level 50. So here we are in Ishgard. Now remember, the first quest in Heaven's Ward is just an introductory quest, so nothing is going to be crafted until the next one pops up. Let's talk to the knight, pass in the broken spear. And now we need to go find the NPC, which is going to be in the Brune. So underneath the stairs in the broom, you'll find Bart. That's what I'm going to call him. So this is going to be the last part of this quest. So we get our experience, our crystals to start us out with, and some manuals. So this manual is actually different from the one I showed you earlier. This one gives you 150% boost. But this goes to up to 1,750,000 and is halved at level 70 and above. So the next quest is at level 53. Now Heaven's Ward is notorious for annoying recipes and materials because you have to make them holy, which requires a lot of holy water and stuff like that. So check the market board to see if these materials are a lot cheaper than the vendor that I showed you guys in Idleshire. Okay. So we're going to get these materials and then we're going to make the Holy Cedar composite bow. So I got all the materials and I actually had a server hop to four different servers just to find Cedar Branch because everybody was selling 99. Unbelievable. All right. So just like before, innovation, basic and standard touch. And I believe we can just go ahead and do Byragots. Perfect. And just two basic synthesis. And the bow is complete. I will pass this in. And now we need to go speak to Phil. After talking to Phil, Bart comes available again, and we can finish this quest. So we're going to take the pieces, since we don't need any of the gill or the gear. And now at level 55, we get the next quest. So the priest requires a dark chestnut rod. So let's make that now. Basic and standard touch until four stacks of Vendor Quiet, just like before. Great strides and Baragots. And three basic synthesis. 
Voila. And take the elegant pieces. And that's going to conclude level 55. And I got level 66. So at level 66, as you can see, level 65, you didn't get manipulation. So that proves that it is from a class quest. Prudent Touch does increased quality at half the durability, so by 5 instead of 10. Efficiency 100, success rate 100, and it cannot be used with Waste Knot or Waste Knot 2, and it requires 25 CP. Next is going to be level 58, and we get one grade 4 crafter CP or control materia. Alright, so for this class quest, we require three birch lumber high quality. Now, I've already gotten these when I was doing collectibles. So, for the 35 durability recipes, you're going to use Waste Not 2 for the first time. Innovation, Basic and Standard Touch, just like before. Waste Not 2 takes half durability, so it only takes 5 instead of 10. Now I do great strides, innovation, power guts, 100%, veneration, check, careful synthesis, 281, and done. So do that three times. And we're going to take the CP. And that's going to be done for level 58. Now the final quest at level 60, we get all three materia. And as you can see, we need Master Recipe Book number three. And like I said earlier, we are going to need a Adamantite Trident. All right. So we are going to require Birch Lumber, which I already have, three Adamantite Nuggets, Ampatir Leather, and a Scale Glue. So I'm going to check the marker board for these items and then we'll continue to finish off the Heaven's Ward class quests. So I'm back with the materials and with the master recipe books, you need clusters instead of crystals. So I got these from a quest not that long ago and these ones I got from my free company chest. So now we need to make this high quality. So again, back to innovation. Basic and standard touch. Innovation. Basic. Standard. Master's Mend. Power Guts. Since we're about to go too far into this rotation. Veneration. Careful synthesis. Three times. And there you go. That's going to be for level 60. So now we need to go and speak to Phil again. Alright, so let's go. So finally, after a bunch of back and forth, we can finally end this quest, which is in the Western Highlands. And now we get all three materia. So now you need to do the Far Edge of Fate in order to do Stormblood. And that gave us level 67, which we get Focused Synthesis. So remember how I told you that Observe will be a combo now? Well, Focus Synthesis combos off of Observe has increased progress of 200 efficiency, 50% success rate, but with the combo, it increases to 100% success rate for 5 CP. And then when we get to level 68, we get focus touch, which is basically the same thing, except for touch. So to continue into the Stormblood quest, you have to go back to your guild master for that. And at this point, you need to start doing the Stormblood story to get access to some of the areas, which will continue the class quest. I know for Carpenter, I think you have to get to Yansha in order to finish Carpenter. So hopefully I don't have to get to that far in order to get manipulation. Okay, so I will see you guys back at the Guildmaster. 
Alright guys, so I just blasted through the Stormblood main story to get myself to Yansha. So now we can continue with the Carpenter class quests. Now this is going to be the last expansion that we have class quests. So everything after that is going to be a self-contained story. So just like last time, this is going to be an introductory to the NPCs. So now we need to go speak to the NPC outside. Now, the good thing about Stormblood is that the class quests, they give you the materials. And if you fail, you can get them for free. And I just tested out the gear that we're wearing currently, and they can be taken through all the way to the level 70 class quest. So I'm going to get to the point where we're going to get to the next quest, because like I said, this is just an introductory, and then we'll get to the very first craft. Alright, so now we need to make a lavish dressing case. So like I said, if you fail, just talk to the NPC for new materials. So the first thing we're doing is muscle memory. Now, basic and careful synthesis will complete the item, so we're going to leave it at that. So we're going to do innovation. And now we're going to do four prudent touches. So this takes away five durability. No goods or excellence are required. So we're going to do innovation again. Then you're going to do one prudent touch. Great strides, fire gods. Acting like I didn't get those goods. And then you go ahead and do veneration. Careful. And done. So these are all going to be the same difficulty, and you need to make them high quality. Pass into the NPC. And we're done. So we're not going to take the gear because we're going to be getting something better. So take the silver pieces. We do get a new tool. Unfortunately, it's weaker than what we have. So it's just basically going to be selling it to a vendor. And then we get quality assurance trait and 1.5 million experience. So we're getting level 68. Oh. All right, so the next quest doesn't start until 63. And like I said earlier, we get Focus Touch. It's the same thing like Focus Synthesis, except for it does for quality. So this one is 18 CP. All right, so the next one we get is level 69, Giggity, and it's Reflect. Basically, it's the opposite of Muscle Memory. It will give you an extra stack of Inner Quiet, so two. And it's 100% success rate and efficiency for 6 CP, and only can be used on the first attempt. So we're going to accept the next quest, and we're going to get Manipulation. So that's going to be level 65. And also get new gear and a main hand, but the main hand is still weaker than what we have, so it's going to be useless to us. Okay, so again, we're going to get to the part where we craft the next item. And then we'll continue. So the next item we have to make is a pipe box. So same thing applies. Muscle memory. Check your stats. So we have 300 for careful, 240 for basic. So we can do basic synthesis. Innovation. And now we can do prune touches, just like before. Do not need any goods or excellence. Innovation, another prudent. Great strides, power guts, and basic synth. And we're done. All right, so I'm gonna pass this in and then we'll continue to the next quest. All right, so that quest gave me a level 69 and manipulation. So what this does at 96 CP cost restores five points of durability after each step for the next eight steps. Note that if an item is about to break, manipulation gets negated. So as an example, 
Let's drop ourselves down to 10 durability. So normally, if you have durability, manipulation will only take away 5 because it gives back 5. But if it's about to break, it's negated. Only waste not can work that way. So if we actually use manipulation properly, if you use an action, you lose five because you gain five. And if you use such like innovation, you get back the five durability. So usually you want to use manipulation before you start using your buffs to get back that durability, usually when you're doing reflect or muscle memory. So that's how manipulation works. So the next quest is live and let dine for Carpenter. So we get 2.2 million experience, a grade five material of our choosing, and the offhand is going to be better than what we currently have. So make sure you take it and utilize it, even though it's going to be replaced at level 70 anyway. All right, so now we need to go to Yansha and do the next quest. All right, so we reached the point where we have to make the next item. So this is going to be level 68. So we're going to do muscle memory. So we have 291 for careful synthesis. If we use veneration, it's now 363. So it just barely almost completes. So now we do innovation. And now we go back to doing four prudent touches. Now, fun fact, if you use manipulation, prudent touch does no durability loss. So now we apply innovation. One more prudent. Great strides, bioregots, and basic synth. And done. All right, so we're gonna pass in this quest and we're gonna get our reward. All right, so let's take the CP. And we're now level 70. So she's gonna give us our last quest and it's gonna give us 2.8 million points of experience and we get one of each materia just like before. So this is definitely going to give us level 71, which we're going to be taking back into the Ishgar Restoration. But before we go back to the Restoration, we need to upgrade our gear for the level 70 recipes. And that's going to take about, I believe, 16 white script turn-ins to get the level 70 script gear. So I would say the best one to do, in my case with the Carpenter, I'm going to go back to doing level 52 because all of the collectibles give you the same amount of scripts because we are below max rank so that's what we're ultimately going to do for me i'm going to go back and make 15 or 16 of these and then we'll get our new set of gear but i have to do the level 70 class quest first to give me a little bit of a boost all right so I'll see you guys right before i have to craft the final item all right, so the final quest is Tea Party Rules, and I need to make a tea house bench. This is going to be the last class quest that we ever have to do. So, muscle memory, veneration, careful synthesis, innovation, and again, four prudent touches. We apply innovation. A little more prudent. Great strides. Bowergots. Don't need any goods. And then one basic synthesis. Well, one careful synthesis. Because the basic left me with one. And there you go. So we're going to pass in this quest and we'll get 2.8 million experience and all three grade five materia. All right, so I'll see you guys at the end. Now let's finish this quest and finish the Stormblood story. 
and now we have level 71 and at level 71 we get preparatory touch one of my favorite abilities so what this does increases quality to greater cost to durability so instead of taking 10 durability it takes away 20. additional effect we get two stacks of inner quiet instead of just one the efficiency is 200 success rate 100 and like i said durability cost of 20. obviously if you put in waste not two and manipulation you cut that down to 10 with the waste knot and then you get back the five from manipulation so we do that in a craft here i can show you so let's do waste not two manipulation also has a like cp cost of 40 and then we do prep touch we only lose five durability but the combination of those two and two stacks of inner quiet. Also reflect. Two stacks of inner quiet to give yourself a little bit of an edge. All right, so I'm on my last craft. So I actually came up with a pretty fast rotation. So if you have level 71, you have your prep touch, then you're gonna do reflect. Innovation, prep touch twice. That will bring you up to six stacks, and then you can just do Barragats to get you the max. Veneration and careful synthesis. So that was the level 52 item. I had the offhand that we just got from the class quest. So now we can pass these in. And then we should have enough scripts for the item that we're going to get. And we got at least one level. And at level 72, we get ground work. So it has the same effect, but it's for progress. So it increases progress out of grid across the durability. So it's 20. Efficiency decreases by half when durability is below uh, 20. I think that's what it is. So this gives you 300 efficiency, 100 success rate, and 20 durability cost. So if you're doing this at like say 10 durability, then this thing gets cut in half. Basically that's what it meant. So now that we are now level 72 and we have enough scripts, Level 70, I'm level 350. And you're going to get your Hand King's Turban. Doublet. Gloves. Bottoms. Shoes. Earrings. Necklace. Armalay. And two rings. Now as for the tools, the main hand tool goes for 225. But we're just going to focus on the gear. And the accessories so now we have 400 cp 1207 craftsmanship and 1297 control so now what you're going to do is get more scripts and get your main hand the offhand you can hold off on for now the level 60 it should be fine so now you're going to go back into the Ishgard Restoration. And at level 70, you have 10 items instead of the usual 5. But you still got the 1. So you have 4 crystals and then 2 for the other. So now we need 10 spruce logs, 10 vine, and 10 alumen to start doing the level 70 recipe for the Ishgard Restoration. So I'm going to have to buy stuff on my main to transfer over to my alt because my money is almost completely out. All right, so see you guys back in the Ishgard restoration. All right, guys, I'm back. Unfortunately, I had to upgrade both my main and offhand tool. So I went back, bought a couple more materials, made more fishing rods, and got my offhand. So if you compare, 329 craftsmanship to 514, 177 control to 276. So I basically went off 99 control, which is going to help a lot. So now we're looking at 1645 craftsmanship, 
1532 control and 400 CP. We are going to be using high quality Blood Bulu base from Shadowbringers for 66 CP and 1596 control. Now we can make the level 70 turn ins. So we're going to do Reflect, Manipulation, Innovation, one prep touch as long as you're level 71 which i recommend doing before doing this three prune touches innovation three more prune touches we want to make sure that we have 40 durability left over Great Strides, Innovation, Power Gots, much better. So without any assistance, we're just five over the threshold. So now we get the max uh, turn-ins for collectability. So now we do Veneration, one Groundwork, and one Careful Synthesis. Done. And now we turn this in for a whopping 755,426 or doing two 1.4 million experience. And you're going to be doing this a lot because right now level 75, we have 3.7 million to get to the next level. So now we are now level 76 and we have delicate synthesis. This works for both progress and quality, 100% efficiency, and success rate for 32 CP. Alright, so I'll see you guys at level 76, and also remember to do your grand company turn-ins. Alright, don't forget that. It's a huge chunk of experience you cannot afford to lose. Alright guys, so we're now level 80. I bought a story skip for this character so I get to Shadowbringer a lot quicker. So the first thing you have to do is get to Yulmor and talk to Morween. She is going to unlock the script exchange in Shadowbringers. This is going to give you access to the level 80 set, which is going to be the Hand Saint. So it's 100 for the head, 300 for the body, the 100 for the rest, and 75 for the rings. Now, if you have done the Iskar restoration of the 80, then you have the Crystalline Mean in the Crystarium to get your scripts and also for experience. Then in Endwalker, you'll have the Studium Deliveries, which is basically the class quests. Now, from 81 below, or 80 and below, the experience has been reduced to 1000 and the Restoration as well, so you can't use that for any experience. Leaf Quests also has been reduced to 1000 in Shadowbringers and below. So you're gonna have to do end walker stuff to get 80 to 90 if you're gonna do scripts and leaf quests, which I'll do a little bit later. So the first thing we need to do is unlock Kaishir. He's the custom delivery client in 5.1. He's gonna stand right here. And then you're gonna head over to the beehive, which is over here. But first we need some materials. So Dadden is going to have everything for custom deliveries and you're going to get three flyer printer materials. So we need to make three here before we get an upgrade for the next set of items. So because it's level 70 and we're level 80, we can now do trained eye. This gets our quality up to 100% and it costs 250 CP. And then you just need to do veneration groundwork and careful synthesis and voila so you're going to do that three times or you can just do groundwork without veneration twice Alright, other ability that we got 
is intensive synthesis. So basically this works like precise touch, except it's with progress. So it gives us 400 efficiency, 100% success rate, and only can be used during good or excellent. Now that we have this done, we're gonna grab the next three materials. Now let's head over to Kaishir and pass these in. Now with this NPC, once you get it to max rank, you can then glamour him any way you like. So you must be level 70 or above in order to turn these in. Thankfully, we're a little lady. So we're getting 719,000. Next, we need to do the culinary and cuisine set. So again, we're going to do trained eye. And then two ground works or three because now we have uh 828 so we need one more all right so three ground works and that should be done and this should give you enough white scripts to get the next script set now with all three done let's get this level up maybe a level up nope we just fell short of 81 but that's okay so now that he is done now let's go grab our next set of script gear all right so kaishir did not give us enough scripts for the full set so we got the head the body the hands the legs and the feet so now we're going to go to the crystarium and do the crystarium means custom deliveries to get the rest of the scripts and a crap ton of experience so I'll see you guys in the Crystarium. So here we are in the Crystarium. So to unlock the crystal I mean, you must complete Holminster Switch Dungeon and then talk to Catalyst to unlock the mean. After that, go to your correspondent NPC. Now there's going to be three NPCs for crafters and two for gatherers. So this one here takes care of Leatherworker, Weaver, and Carpenter. This one takes care of the other three, Blacksmith, Armor, and Goldsmith. And this one over here takes care of alchemist and culinarian. Now, you either can share the experience through all the jobs, or you can put them all into one. In my case, I'm going to put everything into carpenter. So for the first items, we have to make six. Now these are going to be made in high quality. So under the crafter log in the middle, go to side quests or class quests and go to custom deliveries. And then we need to make canvas repair materials. Now this is level 70, so you guys can use trained eye. Groundwork. And careful. You can do this either with the hand king set or you guys can use the hand saint. It doesn't matter. So now we're going to pass one in. Or you can pass all six if you like. So we're getting 2.3 million experience and 594 scripts. And that got me to level 81. So skip the cutscene. We're going to get some food. And then we're going to get a revised engineering manual. Now this is going to be the same thing. 150 experience points boost up to 2 million and is halved at 80 and above. So the next item that she wants us to make is the upholstery repair materials. All right, so that's going to be level 73. Since we're not level 83, we can't use trained eye. So we're going to do this old fashioned way. So reflect, manipulation, innovation, prep touch, do that twice. 100% easy peasy. Run work twice. And you're done. So you're going to do that six times. So I'm going to grab six items here off the market board and then we'll continue. 
All right, so we finished the next six items. So let's pass these in. Now we're getting 2.6 million and 720 white scripts. And we are still level 81. So we get materia and more food, which we don't really need. And our next item is going to be Amaro Barding Repair Materials. So this one's going to be level 75. So I was going to do the same rotation. Reflect. Manipulation. Innovation. Prep touch. Two seems to do just fine. Then add in veneration. Run work. And careful. So you're going to do that six times. So I'm going to get these materials yet again, and then we'll pass in the next set of items. At this point, we do have enough white scripts to get the rest of the gear. So we're going to do that next. So I'm back. I got the rest of my gear with the scripts I got. So I have the offhand, main hand, and accessories. Now for this set, we get an extra bonus for having four accessories. So we get four CP from the rings, which is eight, nine from the bracelet, neck and earrings and we made our six new items so let's pass these in so now we're getting three million sixteen thousand four hundred and seventy six and eight hundred and thirty seven more scripts which is going to be useful now to getting the level 90 script set and now we reach level 82 so next we have a actual quest now so level 75 we get 1.3 million experience and more crystals as if we need more right so i'm going to complete this quest and then we'll continue so for the level 75 quest we must make a workshop sign so we actually get the materials through her and we need to make this high quality so reflect Manipulation, innovation, two prep touches, groundwork, and one careful will do. Now, because we got level 82, we actually get careful synthesis mastery, which increases our efficiency to 180. Level 63, which I mentioned way earlier, gives you an extra 500 efficiency on rapid synthesis. And quality assurance, I forgot to mention, slightly increases the chances of material conditions becoming good. So keep that in mind. So now we can pass in this sign for the quest. And we get our reward and our crystals. Awesome. So now we have to talk to her again. So this time she requires loot repair materials. So that is going to be level 78 and it's going to require six of these items. So again, we're going to go to the market board, get these, and then we'll craft the next set of items. All right, so we got the materials. Let's make the final one. So just to reflect, innovation, and we're just going to go to prep touches. Veneration, run work, careful synthesis, or basic, doesn't really matter. And that gives you 152,000 just for making them high quality. So let's pass these in. I'm going to get level 83. So 3.8 million and 954 white scripts. Cool. Level 83. More materia and more food. All right, so the next thing we do is the level 80 quest. And we get two grade nine materia. Oh, grade eight. So we're gonna do these cutscenes and then we'll return. All right, so after all the cutscenes are done, you need to make a loot modification component. 
So just like before, reflect, innovation, two prep touches. Generation, groundwork, and careful. All right, so more cutscenes, and then we'll pass in the quest one final time. All right, so now we can complete this quest, and we'll be done with the crystal. I mean, turn-ins, at least for this character. So you're not getting any experience because this is a level 80. But when you're done with all of them, there'll be a com combination quest that you guys can do. And you also get a reward. So now what we can do from 83 to 90 is either do your collectibles. You can either do level 81 or you can do the level 83. Either one will do just fine. I recommend doing probably the first one because the materials will be a little bit easier. But once you get to level 85, then you can start doing the spinning wheel since it only requires two materials. And then you guys can boost yourself to 90 by doing the level 85 quest. All right. So now what I'm going to do is switch over to my other alt, who is level 80. And I'll give you an alternative to leveling up when you are in and walker. That includes leaf quests, collectibles, and then the studium deliveries. All right, so here we are on my other alt. I am level 80. I got the same script here as before. And now we're going to do leaf quests. So the quest that you're going to be doing for Carpenter in this example is called a real grind, a horse chestnut grinding wheel for 935,000 times two. It's 1.8 million experience and you get a crap ton of gill. So we're going to do this without food since it's not necessary. So, muscle memory, manipulation, veneration, final appraisal, because ground work is going to complete the item without it. So we're stuck with one point away. So now we're gonna work on quality. So innovation. We're gonna take that good away because I wanna do this without any help. So do two prep touches. One prudent. Re innovation. One more prudent. Now we got six stacks of inner quiet. Great strides. Bower guts. That's just enough of what we need. And basic synth. And complete. Easy peasy. And now we can turn this in high quality. And it's 1.8 million. So we're gonna grab another one, stand right in the corner, so you guys don't have to go back and forth. And we're gonna make this again. And done. So I got 209,000 just from making it high quality. So look how much experience from 80 with just do crafts. So we almost went the full level just by doing two. So it takes about three to get yourself to 81 if you're doing it this way. So I'm going to continue doing this until we hit level 85. All right, so we finally hit level 85 and I went through 17 leaf quests to get to where I am. Well, technically it would have cost me 16, but I accidentally made one normal quality and I passed it in anyway. So I should take around 16 to 17 leaf quests to get to level 85. 
Now, even though the manuals, the revived ones fall off a little bit 80, still use it for the little bit of experience that it gets. And also use your food for the extra 3%. Now, at level 85, a lot of the collectibles are pretty easy. So for Carpenter, it's the rarefied spinning wheel. Blacksmith it has the sledgehammer. Armorer, the fry pan. Goldsmith, these earrings. Leather worker, the gloves. Obviously, leather worker and weaver are the worst. Weaver's got the body. Alchemist has moon gel, which you easily can just do by called gemstones to get those materials. And culinary has happy juice, which is mostly gatherable items and the palm sugar. So if you guys want to do this, if you do not have your leave quests, you guys can do that as an alternative. So when you're doing the collectibles for level 85, here's the rotation that I came up with. Muscle memory, manipulation, waste not to, generation, groundwork, innovation, prep touch, four times, Innovation, great strides, power guts, 100%, and two carefuls, or you can just do one grunt work. So that is going to be your rotation to spam level 85 collectibles. All right, so here we are in the studio. So on the other side here, you'll find another Leopold. After you have completed the Tower of Zot and come back to Old Charlayan, you can come here and unlock the studio. Now the studium works just like the crystalline mean. Each NPC will have their three classes tied to it. So this one is carpenter, leather worker, and weaver. So this is the very first one at level 80. So you're getting 656,124 experience for the top tier, which is going to be collectibles this time, so high quality. And you get your scripts, which is going to be white. So you'll find that under class quests, studium deliveries, and you're going to be needing these materials in order to craft them. So I'm going to go to the market board, grab some of these, and then we'll complete our first studium delivery. All right, we're back with the materials. Now let's make these items. Since it's level 80, we can't use trained eye. So we are going to do muscle memory. Manipulation, innovation, got a good, but we're just going to go ahead and use prep touch. And now we're going to do groundwork. Let's do that again. Also memory, manipulation, innovation. Prep touch. And I do one more touch ability. So Prudent will do just fine. Groundwork. All right, so do that six times and then we'll pass these in. All right, all six are done. So let's pass in these to Jude here. I pass them individually since they're not stacked. So we're getting 3,936,744. That's for level 80. So before we get to level 90, I've been graced with a star on my carpenter from my grand company turn in. And since I made one high quality, I'm going to show you guys exactly how much experience you can get when this sucker is starred. So we're getting 2,628,000. And now we're gonna get double. So that's 4 million plus the 600,000 times two. So that's over 5 million experience points. And I got level 86. So I got 5,256,000. That is insane. So since we got level 56, we get ground work mastery. This increases the efficiency up to 360%.
which is definitely going to come in handy. So we're now level 90. I ran through a couple more lead quests, so now down to 75. And now we have to start upgrading our gear to level 90. Now, now that we hit level 90, we can now get purple scripts. And the fastest way to get those is through the custom deliveries. Now that we're level 90, all NPCs will give you purple scripts. So when you have more than one custom delivery client, one of them, or maybe more than one, will always will have a bonus. This means you get double the experience and double the scripts, as you can tell here. So for us, we have Monago, who has a bonus for the crafters. So Monago is unlocked back in Stormblood, I think, during the point one patch, simply doing the quest Return of the Bull. I'll make sure to link the playlist of all the custom delivery clients. But we're going to go to Ralgo's Reach, and then we're going to be passing in six turn-ins to her, and she's going to give us 240 purple scripts times six, which is 1440. Even though that's not even close to what we need to get a full set of 90 gear, this is going to give us a little jump start. And then I'll show you guys a rotation that you guys can do for level 90. So in Ralgo's Reach, right next to the Summoner Bell, you'll find the Material Supplier, go into number 1, and then find your materials. So I need, I believe, 24. Yep, it's always going to cost you 9,600 guild. Now you go into the Custom Delivery section, just like before, find our item, and now we can just do Trained Eye and Groundwork. So do that six times, and then we'll go pass these into Monago. All right, so we got our materials, let's pass into Monago. So once these reset every Tuesday, you guys can get this again to get more purple scripts. And we're also gonna go over the new abilities that we got, plus the last specialist ability. And we're done. All right. So the new abilities that we got at level 88, we get Prudent Synthesis. Basically, it's the opposite of Prudent Touch. Increases progress at the half of the durability cost, 180 efficiency, 100 success rate can't be used during waste not or two, and it costs 18 CP. And Train Finesse at level 90 increases quality at no cost to durability. Success rate 100, efficiency 100, must be used at 10 stacks of inner quiet, and costs 32 CP. So those are all of the normal abilities that you will use in your journey with crafting. Now if you go into a specialist, at 86, heart and soul. This also will use a crafted delination. So it allows the execution of precise touch, intensive synthesis, or tricks of trade regardless of material condition. The effect ends if the aforementioned actions are executed when material condition is not good or excellent. So basically it falls off after you use its effect. A crafted delination is used upon execution, only can do it one per synthesis, and does not increase the step count. So that is going to be very helpful when you're doing expert recipes, which is the hardest content for crafters, at least for right now. So now that we got our purple scripts from our vendor. Now we need to start working on level 90 crafts to get more because those suckers, like I showed you earlier, are expensive. All right, so now let me show you guys how to do in the level 90 purple script farming. So you're gonna use this T right here. Try to get high quality, but normal quality will do just fine for the extra control and CP. So our stats are 569 CP, 2606 craftsmanship, and 2518 control. Level 90. Will always give you purple scripts. So, muscle memory, manipulation, waste not two, veneration, do ground works, innovation, prep touch four times, no goods or excellence are required. We apply innovation. One more prep touch. Great strides. 
Bah Regats. And then two Careful Synthesis. And voila. That's the rotation you guys can use to do Purple Script Farming. Alright, so this is with the level 80 gear. So let's head to Razad Han, to the vendor, and I'll show you guys where to get your Master Recipe books. So here in Razad Han, from the main Aetherite, go to the right hallway. Second vendor on the left. Recipes. Number two. And as you can see here, grade 10 books cost 1,200 white scripts. So you want to get all 10 if you're going to be making the Indigator set, which is the highest tier gear that you can get crafted. But as long as you have the script gear at level 90, that is basically the same thing. And it doesn't require you to meld or anything like that. So when you're doing level 90, you're going to get 144 purple scripts for each turn in. Now the easiest one that I would say to do is Culinarian. I do have a video about that, which I'll make sure to look and to link it down below so you guys can utilize that. But uh, use whatever you have available. And this vendor here, the script exchange will get your level 90 gear. So it's 500 for the main and offhand tool, so that's a thousand. For the headpiece, 300. Body piece, 900. Hand piece, 300. 300 all the way down to the bracelet. And 220 times two for the rings. So you guys are going to be farming this quite a lot. Through custom deliveries, to the final level until you get all this gear. And then this is going to give you everything you need going into Dawn Trail. And they also come with material slots that you guys can meld into. You can't over meld, only the guaranteed ones. Only crafted can be over melded. All right guys, so that's basically everything that I think you need to know from one to 90. As long as you follow my advice, you should be able to get to level 90 within a week or so, depending on your playtime, how dedicated you are, and the time that you have to play the game. But take your time, enjoy it. Dawn Trail is not going to come out until June for early access and July 2nd for the full release. So enjoy the ride, enjoy crafting, and if you have any questions, please don't be afraid to ask. Okay, so have a good day, enjoy the ride, and I will see you in the next one. And that's going to be it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to support the channel, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share for more Final Fantasy XIV content and help with the YouTube algorithm. If you guys want to support my channel even further, consider becoming a Patreon supporter, YouTube member, or support me on Ko-Fi. Links in the description down below. And a huge thank you to all my YouTube members, Patreon supporters, and Ko-Fi members. And a huge extra thank you to the members on screen. So until next time, we feel for walking the glorious light of Lord Bahamut, and always remember to keep forging ahead. Take care.